in the 1930s, during the Italian occupation of the island of Kos, the government made an effort to excavate and restore several geological sites with the intention of linking itself to the glorious Roman past and, in some way, asserting its claim to the island. This effort, added to the good state of conservation of some monuments when they were found, made Kos a particularly interesting destination to visit Roman ruins. This is Adventure by Footnotes. I'm Esteban, your guide for today, and together we're going to the city of Kos to visit the Odeon and the Roman Baths, as well as the Hellenistic Gym. Kos is an island of the Dodecanese, a group of islands located to the east of Greece, a few kilometers from the coast of Turkey. These ruins are located in the city of Kos, about 600 meters from the port. An Odeon was a particular type of theater, designed specifically to host concerts and musical plays. The name derives from the word Ode, which means song. They used to be smaller than the theaters and they could be fully roofed or semi-roofed. The Roman Odeon, of course, was built in the early 2nd century CE, replacing an older public building. It was damaged by an earthquake in the year 142 CE and repaired during the reign of Emperor Antoninus Pius. The building was originally 30 meters long by 32 meters wide and 12 meters high. It had a capacity for 750 spectators. It was also used for meetings of the local council of elders. It was decorated with mosaics and marble statues. These statues, which were originally located in niches outside, were found during the excavations in the middle of the internal galleries below the theater. The Odeon was excavated in 1929 by the Italian archaeologist Luciano Laurenzi, the same one who did the excavations of the Basilicas of Aios Stephanos. After decades of abandonment, in 1994, new restoration works were started and lasted five years. Inside the galleries of the theater, some frescoes can still be seen. Crossing the street, we have the rest of the ruins. First, we visit the house of the Rape of Europa, known for the tile that portrays the abduction of Europa by a Zeus converted into a bull. In this house, you can still see some other mosaics, some frescoes on the walls, as well as latrines. In these ruins, the urban planning of the Romans is evident, with two streets. A Decumanos, a street that went from west to east, where the house of the abduction is located. And a Cardo, a street with a north-south orientation, which in this case ended in the port. The road was built of limestone and is very well preserved you can still see some cart rats. East of the Cardo, there is a resort building that unfortunately was closed to the public. Due to the lavishness of the building, it was initially believed that it was a nymphaeum, or sanctuary dedicated to the nymphs. But later studies discovered that they were only very well decorated latrines. To the west of the road, there are ruins of the Hellenistic Gymnasium, the Roman Baths, and more. A portico is preserved, some stone and brick walls, as well as some tiles. We also found a structure that we think it was a baptistery, so we conclude that, that a part might have been converted into a church in a later period. In the northwest corner, there are the remains of a pool. During a restoration of the site, 16 columns had been restored. But unfortunately, the 2017 earthquake collapsed 12 of the 16. Where the four standing columns are located, it was the starting point of an old stadium. 
To the north of the Vals are the most impressive tiles of the archaeological site, with their representations of different deities. The Odeon and the Baths are easily accessible on foot from all over Coast Town. They are located about 200 meters from the final Idle City bus stop. All the ruins can be visited for free. The outer part of the Odeon can be visited 24 hours a day. We we'll leave links in the description for opening hours of the theater and the baths. We recommend one hour and a half to see everything. And if you are on the island of Kos, we recommend you visit the castles of the island. And that's all for today. See you in the next adventure.